Hello beautiful ones, welcome back to the House of Joseph. Today we're going to be looking at this, the brand new Elf Soft Glam Satin Foundation from Elf. Did I say it's from Elf? Well, it is from Elf, so if that sounds like something you want to watch, stay tuned. I do apologise if this video stops and starts, guys. There's a chap outside, he's mowing his lawn. Anybody would think he had acres and acres and acres of land because he's been doing it for the past three hours. Um, and it... Can you hear that rumbling sound? That's him mowing his lawn. So what I'm having to do at the minute is just try and squeeze in as much footage between periods where he's going to get a cup of tea or something like that. So anyway, I first heard about this foundation about a week ago from Pampered Wolf, who um, I, I'm, a, I'm a follower of, of hers, although I never actually watch any of it. Do any of you guys do that? Follow people and then don't bother watching any of their videos. What, what's the point? I do that quite a lot, though. I just because I, I believe in subscribing to smaller channels, although Pampered Wolf has something like 250 subs, 250, 250,000 subscribers. She's very popular. So beautiful ones. Today's tutorial will be all about this, uh, this new ELF or eyes, lips and face, or in fact, just ELF um, soft glam foundation. It's going to be a very, 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 very honest opinion because there are loads and loads and loads of reviews on this on YouTube, even though it's only been out for about a month to two months, something like that. Some people love it, some people hate it. Um, and, and so I, I decided in the end not to pay any attention to what I was watching, if that makes sense, and, and that I would make my own mind up about this foundation with you beautiful ones out there and just give you my honest feedback on the Soft Glam Foundation. Does that sound like something that we, we could work with beautiful ones, perhaps? Is it? Is it not? I don't really know. So, glasses on. Why not? Because without them I can't see a thing. That's why not. That's better. So I'm going to be giving you my full and honest opinion on this soft glam foundation, which is supposed to be a satin foundation. Um, satin to me gives me the the, um, the impression of something which is quite silky, uh, maybe a little bit glowing, um, not too glowing. There's somewhere between a, a demi matte and a, a, a probably a quite light reflective is what I'm trying to say, my usual waffly way. It comes in quite a nice um, slim line, gold, black, and uh, and that the, the clear bar, the, the, the clear collar, I should say, at the front is where the foundation um, is to a, a show you the shade and B show you how much you've got left. That's very interesting, isn't it? Very, very good and handy, I suppose. Um, and on the front, it says ELF or Eyes, Lips and Face Soft Glam Satin Foundation. It also says medium, buildable coverage and long lasting with 1% hibiscus extract. Don't ask me how hibiscus extract can benefit the skin. I've never heard of that before. Interesting again, but should I press on? Okay, I'll press on. Um, to me, it, it doesn't really scream expensive to me, although this was eight pounds. I should have said that at the start, shouldn't I? Eight pounds for your bog standard 30 mils, which every foundation other than Revolution comes in a little bit less than 30 mils. However, foundations do generally come in at around 30 mils. So I said it was eight pounds, didn't I? And it's eight US dollars. So you, if you live in America, you get it for slightly less. I think eight US dollars is something like six pounds. So if you're going to buy this in the States, then you'll be getting a bit of a bargain there. It depends really on how good this foundation is. Does I'm sat here saying it will be a bargain. It might be an utter waste of six pounds, in which case go and buy yourself a coffee and a muffin or a coffee and a donut, whatever is your um, your poison. Without spending an eternity talking about the tube, it, it strikes me as being a little bit cheap, actually. It, although it's made with quite a, a solid sort of rubbery... If you tread on it, I don't think it, you, you, you would break it. And I probably would tread on this because I am literally that clumsy. There are some instructions on the back. I will ignore those for now because I'm going to be making my own mind up about this one. Although it, it just basically uh, reiterates what it says on the front, but in a little bit more detail, as in it is a medium buildable coverage foundation and that it's long lasting. And it's now on the floor, so I better go and pick it up. Got it. This is um, this is literally one of the palest shades you can get. They Elf have done something quite clever. What they've done with this set of foundations uh, shades is to um, to sell each one in a, in a warm, neutral, or a cool shade, and then they've they've given you light, medium, dark. And there are thirty six shades. So how they've worked that out? There must be a few other shades in there, mustn't there? 
well, there's, there's got to be, isn't there? I mean, come on, please, guys. Maths. <laughs> and this is it. Mm, buckle. And this one is in shade light cool or, yeah, no light cool, which it says so there. Um, and I, I just assumed, I went literally by the name of the, um, the, 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 the description of the, the, the shade of the foundation. So light cool matches my, is, is basically a description of what my skin tone is. It's light and it's cool tone. So the next one down, I think was light medium cool or something like that. And the other one was fair cool, which would have been way, way, way too pale. Although I personally think that one is too pale for my chops but we will see won't we beautiful ones we will and she is still factory sealed um can you see that with the barcode and the it, the tab basically piece of paper across it so and it just says to peel down so i guess we just have to if you have any fingernails which i don't um is just try and pick that bit off there ah it's coming off which is brilliant God, why are these things like fort knox together there was a great whopping great big bloody security sticker over this as well which i removed much to my Changrin because it was quite oh, that's the only thing that's come off <laughs> I'm going to have to twist it off guys if that's okay ah, there we go so if you want to just access the foundation quickly and efficiently twist it off although now it's left that thing behind so just guess just peel that off so I stop guessing and just yeah okay I'll do it. Ah, that's interesting I would have thought there would have been one of those um, you know those uh, those silver tab things over the top there's not Nay bother, though, as the, um, the, the people from Newcastle say. Nay bother, or n n no worries there. Um, so that's the, uh, yeah, that's the foundation with the, um, the, the top taken off it, basically, or the, the wrapping's taken off. Should I stop waffling and get some of this on this old face? Should I? I'll put some on the back of my hand first because um, a few of you like me doing that. So. And I have just had a quick look at the directions of use on the back and it just says use a foundation brush or a sponge. It doesn't say how much to use. It doesn't say um, w whether to apply onto primer, although I, I don't use primers on a, a regular basis. So I'll be applying this onto to bare chops today. So without any further waffle from me, let's get a good dollop of that on the back of my hand. And I think that's going to be way too pale for my face. We, we might oxidise down or we might be surprised. Might and we guys, we have been before. So with which finger? Should I? I wouldn't use my birdie finger. Okay. Mm. It seems a bit liquidy, actually, considering it's coming in a tube. You'd expect it to be quite a thick, dense um, dense consistency, wouldn't you, beautiful ones? Would you or wouldn't you? Does it, does it really matter, does it? Big important test now is whether it smells or not. Have a sniff. Tell me what you think. You can't because we haven't invented smell of vision or smell of vision yet. So no, there's absolutely nothing I can smell. I did watch um, Robert Walsh's video. My bad. I said I wasn't going to, but I did. <laughs> okay, my. Bad. I didn't watch it all. I only watched the first five minutes or so. <laughs> And um, and he said that it smelled a bit like a very, very watered down sunscreen. I can't even smell that. So if you are intolerant to fragrances, I suppose this would be quite a good one for you. Um, that hasn't quite dried. And you saw me put it on about 30 seconds ago, didn't you? You did. I know you did because you were with me, guys. So there's no point denying it, really, is there? I told you I was in a naughty mood today. Um, let me just have a look at that. So, guys, that is the foundation I've just, or the small amount of foundation I've just applied onto the back of my hand. It does look very, very, very pale, though, doesn't it? So, perhaps I should have gone for medium cool, um, although I would not class my skin as being a medium toned at all. Would you? I'd, perhaps it is. I'd, I'm a makeup artist, what would I know? Do you know what I mean? So, now I'll put a swatch down and um, freshly shaved skin, important. That means that the foundation shouldn't grab onto those, those small, stubbly bits of hair or. You know what I'm trying to say, don't you guys? So again, let's get a, it didn't say to shake it, so I'll just go straight in with, um, if I come back here, then the light doesn't look quite so awful, does it? There we go. Put the lid on him, otherwise that's going to end up everywhere. So my first observation from this foundation, just from it being on the back of that hand, there's the blob I'm going to put in it on, on, as a swatch in a minute. Just from that being on the back of my hand is that it, is, it does come up slightly darker than it looks in the tube, which is good. Um, so if you're going to go out and buy this foundation, do bear that in mind, beautiful ones. 
So let's just get that one. You see that on that finger there? And I'll put that down there and bring that all the way down onto my neck. So we were looking for buildable coverage here, where we sort of apply at least 10 layers of this. I'm kidding, we won't have to. But um, And I want to find out why it's called satin foundation. So it is called, yeah, satin foundation. Soft, glam, satin. And I want to find out whether they've also put the word glam into it, unless... Shall I stop waffling? And Yeah, okay, I'll do that. So can you see what I mean now about it? Because that looked really, really pale on the back of that hand, didn't it? And, and when it went on the face, it, 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 it did. It did. It looked really, really pale, although now it's, um, it's, it's adjusted itself slightly to, to my chops. Um, it does still look way, way, way too pale, doesn't it? We shall persevere, though, shan't we, beautiful ones? We shall. Coming for a bit of a close-up. I'm quite liking the look of that, actually. Ah, okay. That's looking a bit more promising. I've had that on for nearly, um, I, I didn't count this, so possibly about two minutes, something like that. But it has it started to oxidise almost immediately. If you want to um, to, to prevent the oxidisation, um, where are you? You're there, right? Sorry, I've just looked at the lights. Big mistake, I get that, guys. It's like sitting in the sun here with these two lights blaring at me or Glaring at me is the word, not blaring. Blaring's crying, isn't it? It is. Right, okay, so now let's um let's put some of this on this other face, shall we? And this time I'm just gonna go in with a, a quite a big dollop of this one with my um my, my paddle brush. And that's called a paddle brush, guys. It's a bit damp, as you can see. It's not soaking. Well, it is actually soaking up line to you guys. I've just washed it literally about 10 minutes ago, so um we may as well try it with a wet brush. May as well. It's 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 the only the only way I know to get the best out of foundations. So I'm just gonna. No, I'm not. It's dropped on my lap. Mm. Mm. I'm running out of space on this old hand. So mm. so I just go where I went before. I'll have to, won't I? I get a good amount of him on. There's so much foundation there. It is ridiculous. I think we're going to end up looking a bit like Danny Lou or even Quentin Chris by the end of today. Not the best look in the world, but... So, right, OK. So, first of all, important here, guys, buff. And a buff is a... Um, if I show you me buffing. Get some onto the foundation brush first. And then buff it. Can you see what I'm doing now? I'm just pressing it into my... And, and by doing that, it's um, and by buffing that into the uh, the foundation brush, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm in effect pushing the foundation into the bristles of the brush so that um, I'm not applying so much product onto my face. And there's a bit of a reservoir then of the, the foundation in the, the brush. So it goes a little bit further. Does that make sense? Why wouldn't it make sense? Stop treating them like idiots. I know you're not idiots. I do get that beautiful ones. So again, start in the center of the face. So I don't tend to go straight onto my schnuffter. I like to start at the sides of my nose and then go onto my nose. Otherwise you end up with quite a, um, an unnatural looking schnuffter. And I can't see what I'm doing here, guys, because I haven't got my spectacles on. So this isn't going to be the best application in the world. Doesn't have to be though, does it really? We're just going to get the first, um, the first layer on. Work it into the beard. It's important you do that, guys. If you have facial hair, if you are bearded like me. If you're not, then just, well, don't. Into the ears, or it could be the forehead, really. And I'm not going to buff this in today. That was the side I've just applied the foundation with. Can you see all of that found? I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but there's loads of foundation on the other side. So if you've if you've missed areas or um, need more coverage in other areas, then just flip your brush over and then paint away. Do you know when I was um, I was a teenager, we never had foundation brushes. We didn't. No, we didn't, guys. They are a relatively modern invention or invention. Would do, wouldn't it? It would. Better than invincible. Okay. I'm 
the buffing just gives you that airbrushed finish. It does. It really, really, really does, guys. So please don't argue with me because I know what I'm talking about. So let's stop that now. Okay, stopping. It's going to buff on the forehead. I get that I don't really buff when I'm doing my forehead, guys, but for you today, I will definitely buff. It's not a case of do what I say, don't do as I know. It's not. <laughs> Shut up, Joseph. Idiot. <laughs> okay, how's that looking? Right. Okay, beautiful. And so that is the first app, first layer on of, um, why am I showing you the brush? You don't need to see the brush, do you? No, you don't. <laughs> of the Soft Glam um, Satin Foundation by ELF or Eyes, Lips and Face or ELF in Shade Light Cool. Now I'm just going to put my glasses on so I can have une inspection. Ah. Yeah, I'm liking that. That looks really, really natural, doesn't it? And I, I'll do what I used to do when I lived in Eden. I'll go and take either take some photos of me me in natural daylight or I might even shoot a little video, but beautiful ones for you. What would you like me to do? Photos, video, photos, video, photos, video. Should I stop that again? Should I stop that again? You can see the um it is very satiny, isn't it? Beautiful ones. Really liking this. And I have actually reviewed the the old this the one that this one this new formulation replaced, and I can't remember the name of it for the life of me. Um, if if I, I'll have to go and do some research and put the name down. It was Satin something, or like the Satin Foundation or Satin Finish Foundation. It came in a little glass bottle with a black lid on it, and I think at the time I said it looked like a Chanel bottle. I have reviewed that, and I'll, I'll link that dis that video into the into the description or down below. Anyway, let's. I'm getting quite excited about this <laughs> this foundation now because that looks amazing. Now, do bear in mind, beautiful ones, that I'm sat in glaring studio lights um that it could look totally totally different when i'm um when i'm stood in the natural daylight and it, it just it often does look very very different than in studio lights because studio lights are just so incredibly bright has it done anything to the old chew toffee nose mm. no, it hasn't done anything to the old chew toffee so if you have a nose which resembles a chew toffee like i do on a casual or on occasion then it's not going to do that, but then nothing will. So it's just a foundation. It won't work miracles on chewed toffee noses. So let's have a further inspection, shall we? Mm. Yeah, I'm liking the fact that it's um, it's got that really lovely sort of oh, reflective um, reflective quality. Skin feels really hydrated, not massively, um, oh, quite comfortable now my skin does feel. Um, bearing in mind, I've just had a bath. I had nothing on my skin at all, not even my niacinamide spray. I felt that it would um, it would influence the, the the look of the foundation. It had had I gone in with a even a layer of spray or anything which could, you know. Okay. So, can you see how it's united the old um, the old skin tone? I'm sure you can. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking that, and the colour's not too pale now. Can you see there? piece of glow between my eyebrows which I'm just so, so obsessed with that area anyway but when that gets lit up by foundation I do get overly excited about that because I'm quite sad like that on occasion or all the time mm, yeah okay I'm, I'm reasonably impressed considering this was only eight pounds I am pretty impressed by that really I am so now the, the big question is to see whether we can build this up and, and whether I'm now going to look like a, um, a geisha girl. Possibly, possibly will, possibly won't. So it did say it could be, it would be buildable up, a bit, you could build it up though, didn't it? And um, just stop waffling and just see whether we... Okay, let's come back here before I hang on. Just got a quick glimpse of myself looking very ghastly and a little bit ghost-like. Um, Yep, can you see me there, just between the two shadows? Shall I stop that and just give this a fair review? Okay, let's do that. So I'm not going to put so much on this time. Um, I know that many, many people out there do like full cover. I don't like full coverage foundations. In fact, I don't wear foundation on a daily basis 
How many times do I say that in my videos? I just don't because my skin luckily is good enough to sometimes good enough to get away with without wearing loads of macrillage. And if I was going to wear makeup, it would have to be barely there and traceless. Um, full coverage to me means covering up things like port wine stains and stuff like that. And that's all that's that's how it's always been, been in my mind, although nowadays um, many foundations are classed as full coverage when they're just not. So. Right. OK, let's get that on buffed in again, shall we? Remember to press the I'm using quite a lot of pressure there, guys. I am. And that will give you the reservoir effect as well as airbrushing the, um, the chops. Ah, Mr. Great Big Lump. My bad. Right, now that looks pretty well covered. Yep, it is. So again, take the spectacles off. And this time... No, I'm going to put my spectacles back on just to see if there are any areas of concern. Mm, not really. Let's just pretend that I've got loads of texture around my old enough to shower you. Let's just see what this can do for that. OK, I'm liking the fact it doesn't um, um, doesn't intensify the colour. And what I mean by that is sometimes when you um, you apply found a second layer of foundation, it can just immediately make the, um, the, the colour way, way, way too pale or way too dark or whatever. Um, it just makes it look thicker and, you know, more intense. So it, it doesn't do that, which is nice. Oh, forehead again. What's wrong with me? Do try and get into the temples, guys, if your temples are visible like mine. And blend it into the hair. Like anywhere, any skin which is visible, really. And they said to put it, bring it onto your neck as well, didn't they? And even onto the chest, I think it may have said. Or didn't it? I can't remember. And finally, I'll just put a quick application on Sirla's Sirla ears. Or oh, I've forgotten what the French is for ears. My bad. <laughs> I could really stop it with a French thing, shouldn't I? I don't mean any offence by it, guys. It's literally just my sense of humour. And I've got my husband doing it now as well. <laughs> Bless his heart. He just keeps coming out with these... Um, these expressions like extraction and words like, do you know what I mean? Just when we're talking, he just suddenly comes out with the odd little Frenchism, which I think is really, really sweet of him. A bit funny as well, because he is quite funny. In fact, he's hilarious, but okay. Oh, who's that? And something, not, nothing to do with YouTube. Right, now I'm going to buff that in, that second layer. Hold your brush towards the end a little bit more so that I mean, the reason I'm doing that is because you don't want a walloping great shadow of my hand there, do you? You don't, guys. I'm I assure you, you don't want a walloping great shadow of this old these old paws. How are you all? I hope you're all okay, guys. I really, really do. I do think about you all the time. A lot of the time I do anyway, and I check my phone every morning to see if there's any messages from you beautiful ones, which there never is because you're too busy living your own lives and not thinking about me. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I'm so joking. You know, I mean, <clears throat> I know a lot of you just watch me for... Why do you watch me? I mean, why do 1,000, nearly, uh, nearly 1,250 people in fact, over that nearly, why do nearly 1,300 people find me fascinating or anything like that? <clears throat> I don't know. All I know is that's incredibly humbling and very, very, very sweet of you all. And it's just, I'm just so honoured to, to think that nearly 1,300 people think me interesting enough to want to subscribe to the channel and just tune in on a regular basis. So thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. That means so, so much to me. Right. Shall I carry on then? Thank you, though, guys. It does mean so much. Right, shall I stop lending soon, guys, and move on to the next stage? Should I stop that? Yeah, I think I'll have to stop soon. So, OK. Stop lending. 
my spectacles on. I wanted to have a quick inspection. Wow. Can you hear the dog? There are three dogs in this neighborhood and they just seem to cycle their barks. Do you know what I mean? There's one that barks from midnight until something like um, 11 o'clock in the morning. Another one which barks from 11 till around four o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon. And the other one takes up the mantle from that time until the other one takes the time. Do you know what I'm trying to say there? So there's a constant cycle of dogs barking, which keeps you awake if you don't have your windows open. Or if you either keep your windows, yeah, if you leave your windows open and I'm going to stop mo moaning now because it's a beautiful neighborhood and, and um, I'm very happy here. So... Right, okay, yeah, we just, um, no, I wasn't going to do any more blending, was I? So put that away. My bad, wow, 17 minutes, bugger. Now, beautiful ones, even though I've got two layers of the foundation on, it doesn't feel any more hydrating than just one layer, which is good, because um, you, you, you don't want to apply another layer of foundation to your skin and then feel like an oil slick or something like that. Do you? No, you don't. Um, it just feels really, really soft and comfortable and um, just a little bit satiny. Yes, it does, and it looks satiny as well, doesn't it? So shall I do a quick sweep for you guys out there? I'll do a quick sweepy. Bloody dogs. Stop it. Okay, I wasn't going to add music to this, but I might have to, might I, because of the lawnmower and now the dogs, the hounds of Hereford. Sounds quite good. It sounds like a hammer film, doesn't it? The hounds of Hereford. I'm going to stop that now and go and um, try and film outside. Well, just in the in the French windows. Their windows in their French, my favourite. So beautiful ones. This is me now in my bathroom. What do you think? Considering there are two layers of this foundation sur le visage or on my face, I don't think it looks too bad. It's starting to look a little bit mask-like, a little bit a uh, little bit cakey in places. Just had a look at, in the big mirror here, and it um, it, it does look pretty obvious, although. It didn't say it was supernatural or anything like that. No, it didn't. So, um, yeah, no, I, I like I like the, the fact it gives you that satiny sort of finish. And if it was maybe one or two shades darker, then I think it would it would suit this this Celtic face of mine a lot better. Um, not really much else to say about that. So it, I couldn't wear this out though. Absolutely no way, not in a million years. And I knew that when I bought it. So I only bought it really to review for you guys to give you a thorough, honest opinion. I did. Okay, I better get back downstairs and film the rest of this video. Need to remove a layer of makeup or two layers of makeup first though, guys. So beautiful ones, that's what it looks like in natural daylight. And now we're gonna try with the, um, oh, it looks a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> that's because it's just, it is soaking. We're well, not soaking, right? I've just washed it. So um, just flatten that out a little bit. Um, I'm going to do one of my favorite techniques to dry this foundation out, which is to incorporate a serum and a foundation at the same time. And I'm going to put both of these on the end of my brush this time. I know I've, in, in previous videos, I've said not to do that um, because I think that it, it, it's putting too much, it, it's putting all your eggs in one basket, in other words, and, and it could go wrong, although it didn't go wrong for my experimental video. So this is, sorry, this, I should have told you what that is. That's the Olay Regenerist um, Ultra Firming Serum, which used to be the Olay Three Point Serum. Serum, Serum, Serum. So just put a good dollop of that one on there. And there was quite a bit of found um, serum on my brush. There is, there's loads on there, beautiful ones. And before I go in with the found, I'm just gonna finger that in just a little bit to give me a nice, um, so I'm not putting a great big blob down onto the chops. And this is, it stinks by the way, it smells really fruity. It's just, it's, it's quite heavily perfumed. Um, this is a, it's quite glowing. So it's got a lot, loads of light reflection qualities to light reflective qualities to it. So this foundation may actually end up looking like a, a piece of tin foil or, or it may look amazing. We've tried it with one brush, haven't we? And that's what they said to try with a brush or a sponge. Let me just make sure. Ah, uh, that's good because, it, and I should have said also, this is a silicone based um, serum. So, and you must, if you're going to do this tip at home, try, try, try to get the, um, the both of them silicone based or both of them wax based if you're going to use serum and foundation. So, again, I just have to work that in. And you can also, you can always just. You know, if this, so there's hardly any foundation left on there. Right, so let's get on with this, shall we, guys? Okay, so what I'm going to do is just to start. 
by buffing that in. And I didn't buff this on the back of my hand this time because I forgot. <laughs> I did, I literally forgot, guys. So do forgive me if I, you know, if I keep forgetting to do stuff. Loving the feel of this um, this combination on the face. It just feels really, really refreshing. And y y your skin feels like it's instantly being looked after. And not many foundations can say that, can they? Although now every foundation out there seems to come with skincare benefits, doesn't it? It does. Work into the beard too. And I should be buffing, shouldn't I? Yep. This brush is incredibly soft. In fact, it gives up quite a few hairs. It's hairs. Oh no, it's my whiskers. I was going to say, there's hairs all over my nose now. It's because I've just, I, I put some Vaseline on my um, moustache just before I started filming this to give me an extra level of glamour for you beautiful ones. Or um, gloss, I suppose. And if you want a really, if you want really, really glossy facial hair or glossy eyebrows, Vaseline works perfectly. So get yourself a spoolie. Just dip it in the Vaseline and just comb it through. Work it into the ears too. Oh, did I tell you my brush was wet to start off with? I hope I did. Um, yeah, it was. It wasn't soaking wet, but it was certainly wasn't dry. So let's have a look at that now, shall we? Ah. Uh, that's looking loads more, loads more better. It's just looking loads better, isn't it? Wow, look at that area there, beautiful ones. That's incredible, isn't it? It's almost, it's given my skin a really, really lovely sheen, hasn't it? A, a, an airbrush sheen, uh, and that's because we buffed the foundation and we mixed in quite a, um, a light reflective uh, serum at the same time. It was the Olay ultra firming regenerist serum about that cost about 30 pounds i think uh, it's, it, it used to be one of my favorite serums although now I, i'm making my own again so it's i've shelved it in other words and this is the only time i'm going to use this serum is for um for makeup techniques why am i why am i doing that not doing any good at all is it really it's way too late to start buffing in now man Yeah, I'm really loving that area there, guys. Really loving that. Who's that? Oh, everyone keeps bombarding me with comments today. I know I said earlier, please do, but you know, there's a time and a place, isn't there, guys? There is. Oh, I'm joking. I do love all of your comments. And um, oh, because I have a TikTok channel too. I do. The same name, The House of Joseph, if you want to check that out head over to TikTok, although I don't really upload there that often, only um, once or twice a, a, a month or something like that. So um, what do we think, beautiful ones? Tell me honestly, please. Do I look ridiculous or would you like skin which looks like that? It's got an eggshell sort of, is that the right word, an eggshell? I think it is. Um, and wow. With the combination of the skin caring foundation and the, the, the serum as well, silicone based serum has um, has transformed my skin now into the most gorgeous feeling and gorgeous looking as well skin ever. So yeah, so look, should we get back to the foundation rather than me getting carried away? Shall I do that? Okay. So my final thoughts on the soft, ah, I forgot to tell you, it's supposed to be really, really, really ultra long wearing. Um, although today I, I can't, I can't do a wear test because I've got to go out about seven o'clock this evening. It's now something like two o'clock, I think. That gives me five hours, but it's not really long enough to do a proper wear test for you guys. I will do a wear test eventually. So beautiful ones, my final thoughts on the soft glam satin foundation uh, from ELF or Eyes, Lips and Face or Elf, bit of a mouthful there is that it, it, it does live up to all of its claims, I would say, other than the, the length of wear, on which unfortunately I'm not able to test today. If you want me to do a wear test, let me know in the comments. I will gladly do that for you. Might put it on at first thing in the morning and then remove it last thing at night and then have a day at home. Um, <clears throat> so I've just had a huge sneezing fit. 
bit of hay fever. Never had hay fever until I moved to Hereford. What's that all about? I haven't got a clue. Could be the fact I'm getting older, but but wow, look at that. It's just beautiful, isn't it? And that's a combination of the Olay serum, silicone-based, quite glowing serum with the um, the ELF, eyes, lips and face, uh, soft glam satin foundation. I think for eight pounds, it's very, very, it's very reasonable. I did think that at the first application I put on looked amazing. I did. And then second layer, it started to look a little bit cakey or a little bit uh, mask-like. And then when I went upstairs and looked in the bathroom, it didn't look too bad, did it? Although I could never ever in a million years go out with two layers, not even one layer of that on, I don't think. It's because, I, prefer, as I said before, I prefer sheer to barely there to traceless foundations, if I'm going to wear foundation at all, which I hardly ever do. But And it was quite buildable too, it was. Um, and then to make it look even better, we went in with um, a, a flat top brush, didn't we? Quite a damp flat top brush, a squirt of a um, silicone based serum, quite a glowing serum. Do you remember that? Or not, as the case may be, you could use any silicone-based serum or lanocaine gel or something like that would work. If you're going to use a lanocaine gel, do make sure you get the anti-chaffing, not the red one. And then we put a, quite a big dollop of that on there, didn't we? And I worked it into my face and that's what I've got on at the minute. So, um, so yeah, quite pleased with it, really. Would I endorse the um, ELF Satin Glow Foundation, Soft Glow Foundation? Do try and get it right, please, man. Um, why not? It, it's It's cheap. It's... It does what it says it's going to do, and it, it, you know, with some work, granted, with a bit of work, it has made my skin look amazing, I think. So, um, so why not? So, I guess you can tell from my comments then that this wouldn't be something I would use every single day. In fact, it was probably going to end up in the uh, the candy floss box and never get touched again. Uh, would I use it as a makeup artist? Yes, I certainly would. Um, if if I had clients, which I don't, um, especially when mixed with something like the um, the Olay ultra firming serum because you're getting the skincare benefits and your skin could look literally as, as amazing as mine does right now um yeah so shall i stop looking at myself and actually go now okay i'll have to go if you enjoyed today's tutorial please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up similarly could please consider subscribing it's just there also if you beautiful ones have any questions or comments please just leave them in the comment section and i will endeavor to reply i, I try to reply to everyone's comments eventually even after two or three months it has been known i have replied but I, I do try to get back to everyone. So thank you so, so much for watching. Have a beautiful Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Lots of love. Take care.